Why dogs bark? Your dog is likely barking for one of several reasons. Dogs bark as a response to a variety of different types of stimuli, such as when a strange person approaches or when a foreign animal is in the dog's territory. Dogs can also be urged to bark when other dogs are barking, which unfortunately reinforces the territorial response of the dog. This is the most useful type of barking for any human owner who is looking to keep a dog as a form of protection. Dogs also tend to bark as a learned response to a number of stimuli. If a dog barks, and then as a result he or she receives attention from you, then he or she will learn that barking is an excellent way to get what he wants. If a dog brings his toy to you and then he barks to you, and you engage in playtime with the dog as a result, then the dog will learn that an excellent way to initiate playtime is through barking. If this behavior causes you to yell or to scold the dog, he still may continue this behavior because all reinforcement is reinforcement, even negative reinforcement because all attention beats absolutely no attention. Barking is also a completely normal play behavior for a dog, and the dog may bark both to human and animal during play. When barking for the purpose of seeking attention, dogs also tend to bark in response to the anxiety that they feel when they are not in the presence of their owner. This can occur just after the owner leaves, or it can persist for as many as several hours later until the owner does finally return. While most of these reasons are cause enough to explore electronic bark collars, but there are also reasons for why bark collars should be avoided. For example, some dogs that are in pain will bark excessively. Dogs who suffer from brain diseases, deafness or cognitive problems may also bark excessively, and none of these situations should be dealt with through the use of an electronic bark collar. It is important to take your dog to the veterinarian's office before you begin any new behavior modification program including a bark collar to rule out situations such as these. Ultimately it is up to you whether you choose to use a bark collar or not. You are responsible of the well-being and health of your dog, but you have to be aware of the needs and wants of your family and your neighbors as well. There are various methods of behavior modification that can be explored, but electronic bark collars are very fast and effective at delivering the desired results in only a few days in most cases. Your goal here should be discouraging barking that is unnecessary rather than discouraging all barking, because barking within reason is a natural dog behavior and should never be discouraged. It would be ideal for you to learn how to recognize any and all triggers that will cause your dog to lash out through barking, because you may be able to eliminate or at least limit these stressors to a degree. Keep in mind, most importantly of all, there is no magic cure for such unsavory behavior, you simply have to show patience, and when possible, understanding as well.